Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So another video about setting up the controls. This one's going to cover the MiG-29, the three variants of that, the SU-27 flanker and the uh, SU-33C flanker. Now they're almost identical in how you set up their controls. So I'm just going to show one, say the SU-27 flanker, and then you can apply that to all of those aeroplanes basically. So bloody useful how they did that with the FC-3 aircraft. General notice uh, or general information when you are setting up your aircraft, if you've got lots of aircraft like me, you can see down here, you want to keep the controls that you set for each of them as uniform as uniform as possible. So if you've got a general command, that, uh, a control on your joystick you like to set for flaps, say, then that's the, 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 the button you want to use for all of your planes. Keep everything as uniform as possible so that we can keep flying the planes as similar as possible. Okay, so I'm going to show you basically how I set my plane up. Uh, I've got an X56 uh, Cytec Rhino uh, Hotas or joystick. You almost certainly will have something different. So you may, might not be able to uh, uh, apply the uh, controls to the exact same button that I do, but I'll describe roughly where I put on my joystick and you can hopefully do something similar if you want to uh, have the same kind of set out, set out as me and if you do have the same kind of set up as me it's useful for if you watch my guides later on because when I'm describing buttons and stuff like that it will just make everything easier okay so let's get cracking we're in the main menu here we're going to go into options here we're going to uh, go to controls here we're going to go to excuse me SU27 here so the first I thing I'm going to do is clear the categories out you don't do this this is specifically for me because I've already got my control set and I want a blank sheet but you should not do this so clear categories right so it's all of my controls gone right so we've got the my hotas or my joystick is split into two sections the left side is called the uh, you know it's a thrust lever that you push forward and it's got various controls on it the right side is the control stick with the various controls on that and then we've got the keyboard as well um, if we're looking on here we've got a list of uh, commands uh, down here and we've got loads of them hundreds of them and this is a relatively simple aircraft as well uh, now we are going to set only a few of them 99 percent of them will leave as uh, dcs uh, specifiers will just change the one just the few that we absolutely need for day-to-day -day flying okay and this is the keyboard here so this is the bindings will put for the keyboard this here is the left side of the hotel so thrust lever and this is the right side uh, the control stick right so let's get cracking the first thing I always do is my axis commands uh, I'm going to start at, at the bottom zoom view I've got this on my left hotas I've got a nice little turny knob I like to use so I've double clicked on in fact let me just show you exactly how I've done that I've so I want to choose a zoom view I'm double clicking on this box here it's under the left hotas double click with my mouse I then uh, turn the actual control on my joystick that I want to set uh, from its complete limits one side to the other and then it's picked up you see joystick z okay so that's that one bound all done the next thing i want to do is my thrust now this aircraft has two engines so i don't want thrust i want thrust left and thrust right i'm going to unlatch the separator on my left on my uh, control stick uh, so i want to go thrust left i'm going to double click on that i'm going to push the thrust left forward and back and it's picked it up okay let's just check that's worked yes it's picked that up fine let's do our right lovely let's check that's worked yes it has right let me just reattach my stick together quickly lovely that's that done uh td slews i don't want any of this i do want my rudder so we're going to go to the control stick here under rudder double click i don't have uh, pedals because my feet aren't working very well so i'm going to use my control stick twist it left twist it right and it's picked up joystick twist rz okay pow um let's test that lovely now let's uh, tune that uh, so anything on the control stick we'll want to tune axis tune there um, and i want to put a curvature of 25 i like 25 now we can see our red dot is outside of our black center circle at the moment it's probably just not settled very well let's try that again that's a little bit better now you can see still it's not quite centering right the joystick is old and a bit used up so it should be centering inside that black square it's not so we're going to add some dead zone to compensate for that so what we want is that red um, dots to be in a flat area on my new curve and it's just in the flat area so the dead zone adds, adds a big flat dead area basically so there we go just about that and that's my tiny bit more maybe that's in my dead zone there okay 
Okay, lovely. And next, I'm going to add some roll. So that is, I'm going to wiggle my joystick left and then right, and that's picked it up as joystick what, uh, X. Let's test that. That looks good. Uh, we're going to do an axis tune on that now. And the dead zone's fine. You can see it's in the center, but we do want 25 curvature. 25 curvature adds a little bit more um, uh, fidelity to the uh, smaller uh, input to the joystick. So it makes things like air to air refueling, formation flying a lot easier. 25, I find, is uh, just a general thing I like to use for all planes to keep them all the same, okay? Next, I want to do pitch on my control stick. Double click there, push forward, push back. It's picked it up, okay? Test it and tune it. Uh, we're just about in that black box, okay? I don't think we need any dead zone, so we're just going to punch that up to 25. Bosh. Okay. That is our axis done. Next, we're going to move on to the left part of the hotel. test. So to do that, I'm going to go to search and start putting in the things that I know. First of all, I've got a button here with two buttons, an up and a down, uh, and it needs setting to my countermeasures. I like to have this the same as all of my aircraft. So I'm going to type in under search counter, countermeasure chaff dispense. I want to put it as that one there. Countermeasures flare dispense. I want to put it as that one there. Okay. That's that. I've already done the thrust. Next is weapons select. So let's delete that under the search. Weapon select. It's not going to find that. So let's try select. Uh, it's not finding that. Let's try weapon change. There it is. Weapon change. So it's a button here. I often use this button on my left toe test for autopilot. Uh, the autopilot is a little bit more complicated than on these planes, so I'm going to leave it to the keyboard. So I'm going to use this button here as a weapon changer. We can cycle between my weapons, so I'm going to put it there and there. Pow. Okay, lovely. Next, I'm going to have the button I use for my air brake on and off. So let's search air brake. There he is. So on, I want as that. And off, I want as that. Lovely job. Next is the flaps. I've got an up and a down one, up and down button that I use for flaps for all of my planes. And that is going to be here, flaps uh, up there, and flaps landing position down there. Bosh, lovely, okay. Uh, what have we done next on the zoom? Uh, we've done, I want um, this one here. Um, I've got another one on my uh, left HOTAS, and I'm going to use this as launch control override. So launch, whoopsie. Uh, we'll launch permission override, there it is. So on these planes that we're setting up here, you have the ability to override the uh, the launch permission. So if it's not giving you permission to fire a missile or a bomb or something, you can override that, and I do it quite a lot. And you want it as something you want in your joystick so you can grab it quickly and press it in an emergency. And I like it as that one there on my left HOTAS. Okay, that is everything set up up, up on my left HOTAS. Ah, the correction is not... I like, so if you're on a dogfight, I like, there's a nice little view that you can press and hold. I call it Snap View 5. You might find your own one better, but I like this one. And I'm going to set it as that one there. Okay. Uh, also, engine starts um, I have as the, uh, the, the, the iron switch is on the base of my left HOTAS. So let's go engine. Okay, so we've got both engines here. Start. Both engines stop. And if we've got an engine fire or something, we're going to want to shut down these engines quickly in emergency. So I've got left engine start here, left engine, whoops, stop there, right engine start there, and left engine stop there. So it's all set up logically on my uh, iron, uh, iron switches on my controller. So that is the left side of my hotel set up now, all good to go, lovely. Uh, let me get rid of that. Next is over to the control stick. So the first thing we're going to want is the main trigger, probably going to be called weapons fire under the search, so weapon fire, there it is, lovely, and we're on the right control stick now, press it, and bosh, lovely done, that's that done, uh, right, what's the next thing we want to do, I've got one that I use as my wheel brake all the time on this uh, right side of the stick, so I'm going to type in wheel brake there, if I can find it, uh, wheel brake on there we go so we're going to use that we're going to press that there lovely and i've got the same thing just next to that i've got a control that i like to use for my nose wheel steering and we've got it right there in fact it's a push i think it's a push and hold affair so let's go and set that there that's my generic nose wheel steering done okay 
Next, um, on top of the uh, of the control stick, we've got a button here that I like to use as my uh, target lock. Um, so I'm going to search lock here. Mm, there it is, target lock. Let's use that. Bosh, lovely. Okay. So next, we're going to move on to the four-way switches or four-way hat switches that we've got on top of the control stick. I've got three of them. The first one I'm going to set up has a trim controller. So let's type in trim. So I'm going to want to trim left wing down, Bosch. I'm going to want to trim nose down, Bosch. Trim nose up, Bosch. And trim right wing down, Bosch. So I've put those four commands on that four-way switch on the top right of the control stick. Now the next control uh, hat I've got on my control stick, the bottom right one, the four commands, I want to put two the target designator control. This allows me to move the designator around on my radar to select targets and all cool stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to find that designator. There it is. So down. We're going to go left. Going to go right. And we're going to go up. I don't. You've got a one you can use a center there. I don't really like using the center, so it's not something I'm interested in. Next, my third and final hat four-way controller on the top of the stick, I like to use as um, a mode selector. So you've got several selection uh, mode selectors that you can use in these aircraft. So the first ones, you've got lots of them here. I don't want all of them. I only want three of them at quick hand reference on my control stick. So first one is beyond visual range. I'm going to set it as I always set it. Left, whoops, got that wrong. Let's try again there. Left on that hat switch, okay? And next, um, the, uh, I'm going to do up on that four-way switch. And I usually do ball mode, but an improved ball mode is basically this helmet-mounted uh, helmet um, uh, mode. It's a bit like ball mode, but you can adjust it with your track IR, move it about. So I'm going to have that up there where I usually have my ball mode. And I'm going to have vertical scan on the right, uh, otherwise known as dogfight mode. If I get in a dogfight, that's what I'll use. So that's that, which leaves one of uh, the down position, which I always use as cannon select in an emergency. So we're going to go cannon, find it there, add it to my final four-way hat switch. Bosh. Okay. Now that's basically all of the controls used up on my HOTAS now, but we still do have some controls we need to use, in particular for controlling the radar in these jets. Okay, uh, so we've got nothing left on our joystick. We'll have to go to the keyboard. So we're going to put them as uh, simply and logically as we can and uh, easiest to reach. So first thing we're going to search is uh, RWS. Uh, so this command here switches you between RWS and TWS mode on the radar. Range or scan, track or scan. It's a command you'll use quite a lot. And I want to put it near the I key and the O key. They turn the radar on and off and turn the electrical optical uh, system uh, on and off. And I like to put it next to them under U. Um, in fact, it's already got it saved there. We'll type in again. Why not? you there okay so that's that done uh, the next thing is uh, the controls for moving the radar about slewing it about and stuff like that and i want all of that stuff moved to the numpad on the right side of the keyboard so that i can slip my hand off the control stick and move it with my and adjust it with my right hand you may choose something different it's just how i like to do it okay so let's have a look at that the first thing we're going to want to adjust is our scan zone type in here scan zone uh, so this means basically we can slew the let the ra our radar dish in front of our plane left. We can slew it right, and we can elevate it up, and we can elevate it down. This is no known as the scan zone commands. So we're on keyboard here. In fact, I've already got this set up, but I'm going to do them again just because I want num two num the second uh, number two key on the numpad. Up, I want num eight. Left, I want num four. Right, I want num six okay so we've got some arrow keys on the numpad and that's what i like to set them as uh so that's that done next i want scan uh sorry next i want display zone so let's delete that and type display uh this essentially uh, if you like it zooms our radar screen in and out i want to keep it on the numpad and i'm going to use it as the num plus zoom in and the num minus for zoom out like so bosh that's done okay uh, next, something you'll be adjusting a lot is your PRF, your pulse ref repetition frequency. Uh, when you're looking for a target, you're going to be constantly using that to find the target based on whether the target is hot aspect or cold aspect or side aspect, whatever. Okay, so let's try and find that. Let's try PRF first of all. PRF. No, let's try rep 
repetition and radar pulse repeat frequency select there it is and we're going to put it in here as our numpad zero and that is our basic radar command setup you may want some more you can adjust some other stuff and some audio stuff as well but those are the really important ones i want to get to when i'm chasing someone around trying to find them um, it's on my num the right side of my keyboard on the numpad and i like to depending what i'm doing if i'm busy flying then i'll shift my left hand over to move it to use it and if i'm doing radio commands but not really flying around so much i'll use take my right hand off the right stick and use it like that so you can be kind of ambidextrous with it but it gets all those um, kind of emergency commands all in one place at one time uh, that's all i can think of adding there are a few extra if you fly the um, su-33 it has some extra keys that you might want to set up regards uh, to taking off the carrier but there's nothing particularly important in there that you need to rebind so that's basically it use that for the migs and the the flankers i hope that helps and i'll uh, see you later